you can see what I mean about how, how they can be very quick when they want to. Um, spav kick would be a good way to describe their movements a lot of times. Good afternoon, everyone. I spent the morning editing videos, but I just stepped outside. It's beautiful. It's overcast. It's humid. I'm going to go flip around a little bit, but I found this little guy chilling by my house. Little uh, gray tree frog, Cope's gray tree frog. Beautiful little frog. Uh, these guys call by the dozens in my yard every night, so um, I really should make more videos involving them because there's so many of them here, but really awesome little frogs. I don't show them as much as I should, uh, but I might have to start doing that this summer. But either way, really beautiful little guy that was just chilling right by my house. I'm going to put him back where I found him and go flip some tin. Ring necks. Two of them. Just chilling out in this ant bed that doesn't have any ants in it right now. Kind of interesting. I never see any like small snakes under this piece. This guy's just chilling. There's ring neck number three for the day. That's a new one under a new piece I've never seen him under. Don't think I've flipped a ring neck under this stuff yet, so that's kind of cool. Pretty big one. Looks like it might be a gravid female. This one's been having a ring neck under it recently too, so let's see if he's still here. Yep, that's a different one actually. The other one was a little a lot bigger than that, so. Fourth ring neck of the day. I couldn't see it from the angle I was at, but I pulled the tin up a little bit more, and there's actually two under here. That's the one that I think has been hanging out under here. So, up to four ring necks for the day now. And I've just now got started flipping. piece hasn't produced anything in what feels like forever. Oh, there's a red-bellied snake. Nice. That is the first snake I've seen under here in a while. It's a nice tan phase. Gave it a nice long stare and I didn't see anything else hanging out under there. <laughs> These tiny snakes are hard to see when there's just so much going on underneath the tin. Uh, there's so many places for them to be hiding underneath leaves and stuff. So either way, pretty cool. Lots of snakes so far, uh, nothing, no big snakes, all little fossorial things, but as long as I'm seeing snakes, I'm happy. So I'm just gonna let this beautiful little guy go back under his tin and we're gonna hit the next piece. Oh, look at that belly, what an awesome snake. Love seeing these guys. We're about to flip the piece that had so many red bellies under it last time. So we'll see if there's any under there today. That piece is just downhill from red bellied piece. This is where all those black faced red bellies were hanging out the other day. So we're gonna see if there's anybody here today. I see, yep. Looks like two of them are here today. That one, and this one's in shed now. That's the nicer of the two bigger ones that were hanging out under here. And I don't see the other one, he might've left. But yeah, I've already shown you guys these snakes in another video, so I'm not gonna mess with them too much today, but. Looks like two of the three that have been under here are still hanging out. Fence lizard. Earth snake. Look at that. Do you believe that is the first snake I found under this? If this fence lizard could chill out. <laughs> I'm trying to talk about the earth snake, dude. Man, he is persistent. Anyways, nice, healthy, fat earth snake. Might be gravid, too. So, yeah, nice little smooth earth snake. So far, three species today and a lot of individuals. Lots of snakes under 10. I just, it seems like the flipping here at the house has been good this year. Like, really good for numbers. But the quality has just been, it's been a lot of common stuff. Haven't seen any mole kings, hardly any eastern kings. I guess I've seen two eastern kings, but... Uh, both were recaptures, no new eastern kings, but the new tin is producing a lot of snakes, which is awesome. So can't complain about it, but nice smooth earth snake. I'm just gonna let her go back in her sack. This little stack has been super productive recently. Really since I put it out. Did you see that thing just fall out of the tree and bounce off my hand? 
Come on, dude. Anyways, like I was trying to say, the scorpion stack, as I've named it, has been super productive this year. I mean, there's just a dozen scorpions or more every time I flip it. There's usually at least one snake. Doesn't look like there's anything today, though. Nice. This is the first time this piece has produced anything. Just a little single I have down in the woods. But little eastern worm snake. These guys have been pretty common recently, too. These couple of sets I haven't really found anything under. But I just put them over here because it looked pretty ideal. And uh, it's the first snake I've turned up over here. Little eastern worm. Lots of snakes turning up under the new stuff, like I said earlier. This is great to see. But anyways, just going to let this guy go. So just for perspective, last night, the copperhead we cruised was right there. And I have 10 right here that never gets anything under it. I'd love to flip copperheads here, but it just doesn't happen for whatever reason. So kind of interesting, but this stack has not produced anything since I laid it out, which will hopefully change eventually. But as of now, it's been pretty unproductive. Normally I flip this first, but today we're flipping it last. So last chance at seeing anything else for the day. Nothing. All right, well, it was half decent. We saw good numbers and decent diversity, so can't complain about that. But anyways, next time I'm getting out will probably be tomorrow afternoon, so I will see you guys then. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm hoping to wrap this video up today. It has rained a lot, thankfully. We have really incredible cruising weather today, in and out rain showers. Um, after a lot of rain the last couple days, should be great for some of the rarer herbs that we like to look for out here. But anyways, the big thing I'm hoping to see today is a coral snake. Um, I'm not gonna get my hopes up, even though it is really good weather for it. But uh, there should be plenty of other really cool things we can see as a bycatch around here. So I'm just gonna cruise around. Um, it's mid-afternoon now, about four o'clock, and I plan on staying here until after dark. So we'll see what all we can turn up. All right, here's our first turp of the day. A nice little Eastern box turtle on the road. This is a little juvenile guy. So a lot smaller than a lot of the bigger ones we see. But I'm expecting we'll probably see a couple of these today. I've seen a couple squished on the road. Um, it's a perfect day for them to be out with all the rain. So I'm just going to move this guy across and we're going to keep cruising. And as expected, here is another box turtle. But this one is just kind of insane looking. Look at this guy. He's beautiful. What's up, dude? You are amazing. Look at that head. Holy crap. Man, that's an awesome one. All right, we'll move them out of the road. But kind of as expected, a couple of these guys so far. Wouldn't be surprised if we see a few more. It's perfect weather for them. Really great looking box turtle. Number two for the day. A bullfrog was not on the list of things I was expecting to day cruise today. <laughs> that was kind of interesting. Well, we got another dosing of rain and uh, there's box turtle number three. Got a car coming, I think. Can't tell if that's thunder or a car, but either way, we're gonna move them out of the road. Not quite as nice as that last one, but still a really good looking turtle. Go that way, brother. Well, the rain has certainly brought the turtles out. Next find of the day is a little Eastern mud turtle right here. Uh, I thought this guy would be a striped given where we're at, but nope, appears that, okay, wow, that was, a bit extreme he will not stop pissing so i'm just gonna move him off the road before he pees all of his water out not too big of an issue since there's a big swamp right there but nice little easter mud turtle next find of the day there are a couple of turkeys back there can't see him too well but lots of wildlife out moving around to see him through there a little bit better pretty cool anyways Lots of turtles out, lots of other wildlife out. Haven't seen any snakes yet, but hopefully they are coming. This one's already across the road. I spotted him on the side. That's actually a her. Hey there, girl. What you doing? I think it's a her. But either way, that is the fourth box turtle of the day, I believe. 
and I've gotten one literally on every pass of this exact road. They've all been on this road, and I've gotten one on every pass, like clockwork. But this one made it across the road safely on its own accord, so I'm just going to leave them to it and let them, I guess, continue going that way. But either way, another box turtle. And we got another one. This one is actually on a different road. What's up, dude? He's real round. I think that's five at this point. So <laughs> let's just move this round man out of the road. What's up, dude? Look at those little hands hanging out. I've never seen that before. What's up with that, dude? Why don't you tuck your hands in? All right, buddy. All right, all right, all right. There you go. Carry on. It's been 30 seconds since the last box turtle, and <laughs> there's another one. What's up? This is awesome. I can find box turtles all day long and be perfectly content with it. The best part about this is I haven't seen any new dead ones since I got here, which means, as far as I know, I've saved all of the ones that have been on the road, so. Either way, this guy's almost all the way across. We're just gonna move her over here to the edge and hopefully she will stay out of the road. Back on Box Turtle Road, if you can't tell, yet another one. This looks like potentially another female. This might be the most box turtles I've ever cruised in a day. I've definitely hiked more than this, but I mean, this has been kind of ridiculous. It's been about all we've seen. So uh, anyways, I love to see it personally, so I'm just gonna help this girl across. It does in fact look to be a girl, so move her over here by this natural light can and uh, get back on the road. Well guys, there is my first snake of the day. It's been a while, but uh, that's a pretty good one if you ask me. Nice sub-adult timber rattlesnake here in the Georgia Piedmont. Always love to see these guys, and it feels like it's been forever since I have seen one. Um, really cool though. So really awesome way to start the night snake-wise. Um, hopefully we'll see some other stuff, but if not, it's worth staying just to see this guy. Really beautiful little cane break. Um, I wish I had an ability to photograph this guy well, but I still haven't replaced my main camera. I've got my dinky little Sony A6000 over there, uh, but it doesn't have a flash, so I just took a couple of quick voucher shots with it and on my phone, and uh, I'm going to make sure this guy gets completely off the road, and we're going to keep moving. All right, buddy. Keep moving. Go on. Go on. Yes, go. Keep going. Keep going. There you go. Go on. Awesome. Great way to start the night. Let's keep moving. All right, everyone. I'm currently headed home. As you can see, this road is steamy and very wet. We got a little bit more rain. Um, I did not see anything after the timber, though. That was the only snake of the night. Tons of frogs on the road in numbers that I'm not sure I've ever even seen before. I mean, just ridiculous numbers of toads and frogs on that road. I mean, I wish I could have had a way to show it to you guys, but I, it was just insane. But anyways, I'm trying to get home to get some sleep because I'm going to get up and morning cruise tomorrow. But I think after we got all this rain, I think the next couple of days and at least like the next week or two should be pretty good. Uh, but we're gonna see. It's been a while since I've spent this time of year in Georgia. So it might be a little trial and error, but we'll figure something out. Good afternoon, everybody. We are back out in the same area we were in at the end of the last video. Uh, it's next day. It was a lot warmer. To okay, squirrel tried to kill himself. Today has been a lot warmer than yesterday, and it hasn't rained at all, so it should be a pretty prime afternoon to do some road cruising. Hopefully, we'll be able to turn up some snakes this afternoon. Um, I, I, can, I can only imagine it's going to be a little bit more productive than yesterday since it's not soaking wet. Uh, it's hot, but it's not too hot. It's just a really good day. It feels like it's going to be a really good day. I found a DOR rat snake already that was just ran over, unfortunately. So I'm going to keep cruising and I will let you guys know when we start seeing stuff. Are you kidding me? I just barely saw this guy about to go off the road. That is a juvenile eastern coral snake in the Georgia Piedmont. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at that. First snake of the afternoon. 
unbelievable. Well, that is amazing. I spent so many years trying to pin these things down here in the Georgia Piedmont with no success at all. And now I've successfully found one two consecutive years in a row. This is amazing. Absolutely amazing. This is a small snake. I'm going to put my hand down without outside of striking distance. You can see it's only about maybe, maybe 12 inches long, probably closer to 10, but just incredible. It's 88 degrees, basically still the heat of the day. It's about 5 p.m., which in June, you know, the sun doesn't go down until almost 9. So, I mean, these things are very diurnal here. The, the only other one I found was also moving around the same time of day. But that is just absolutely incredible. Juvenile, small adult, sub-adult, eastern coral snake here in the Georgia Piedmont. I'm going to move this guy to a safer space since I'm in the middle of the road, and we'll get some more video of him. All right, everyone, I moved to a quiet dirt road over here, but I mean, I just am in complete disbelief about this right now. These are such amazing little snakes and I never get tired of seeing them, especially here in the Georgia Piedmont where they are a really good find. Can you not, dude? <laughs> As you can see, they never stop moving and are a royal pain to get pictures and video of, but I mean, what a beautiful little snake. So while these snakes are deadly venomous, um, they have one of the more potent venoms here in the U.S., but they are pretty hesitant to bite. Your chances of getting bit by one of these snakes is next to zero if you aren't touching it. And even if you are touching it, a lot of times they will let you get away with it more often than the vipers will. That being said, I would highly recommend against ever touching one of these snakes. They are surprisingly fast and... Uh, a lot of people get too comfortable with them because they think that they're docile, which is kind of true. They are a pretty laid back snake, but as you've seen a couple of times, they turn on the jets pretty quickly when they want to. So anyways, beautiful little snake, nonetheless, exactly what I was hoping to see this afternoon and uh, a snake that I'm gonna be excited about for the next couple weeks. If I had to guess, I'd say that this is a young female. You can see she's got a pretty quick taper to her tail there. Uh, male coral snakes have very long, very obvious, bulging testicles that <laughs> you can see through their tail. Uh, they're just a super, super obvious snake to tell if it's a boy or a girl. Um, however, this is a juvenile, so not sexually mature, even if it is a boy. Um, I don't know if I'd be able to tell for sure at this age, but I'm going to go with girl on this one. Um, really awesome, just unbelievable. Not quite as vibrant as the one we found uh, last year but still an absolutely incredible snake. I'm over the moon to be looking at this animal right now, especially after how rough the last couple of days of herping have been. Um, not really even days, like the last two weeks have been pretty brutal. Ever since my camera gear got stolen, it feels like it's just been an uphill battle until this moment. So super thankful for this guy. Um, as usual, I'm just gonna get a couple quick photos and I'm going to take him back to where he was found and let him go. You can see what I mean about how, how they can be very quick when they want to. Um, spaz pick would be a good way to describe their movements a lot of times. Um, and I think that's probably how people get bit by them because they assume that they're slow because uh, they can be really laid back, but when they don't want to be laid back, they're in fact very fast. So absolutely incredible little snake. I'm going to take him back to where he was found, let him go and keep cruising. I will update you guys if we see anything else. Really optimistic that we'll see some other cool stuff this afternoon since we got this guy so early. I mean, it's still 88 degrees and about, I think it was around 6 p.m. when I initially cruised him. So still early in the night for summer. So hopefully there's some more cool stuff coming our way. All right, everyone. Well, it is about nine o'clock. It's gonna be getting dark here within the next few minutes and uh, haven't seen anything since the coral snake. No box turtles at all today, just the one coral and a dead rat snake so far. All right, here is our next snake of the night. A Wow, that is a beautiful little copperhead. Holy crap, you're amazing. Whoa, no, 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 none of this, none of this. I just want to look at you. <laughs> he does not want to be looked at, guys. But man, he's beautiful, really nice. Well, this guy is excessively agitated, so I'm not gonna mess with him too much. Little update, while I was driving around, a yellow jacket flew in my window and stung me on my thigh and on my hand. So I really don't have the patience to deal with a bitey copperhead right now, so I'm just gonna move him off the road. Um, he is really nice looking, but as you guys have noticed, kind of jumpy and uh, agitated, so I don't wanna mess with him too much, but 
Second snake of the day. Nice copperhead. Interestingly enough, we've seen three snakes on this road in the last two days, and they've all been venomous. A copperhead, a coral snake, and a timber. Next snake of the night is a tiny one. A little red-bellied snake. We've been seeing a lot of these guys lately at home, so look at all the bugs flying around this guy. I'm just going to move him across the road, but nice to see something we can actually get our hands on. Um, something that's not deadly venomous. Kind of cool. But I think this is the first red-bellied snake I've seen in this area, so I'm going to get a quick voucher photo and then move him off the road. Well, this came out of nowhere, so probably going to put a damper on the road cruising for snakes, so uh, uh, I bet there'd be a lot of frogs out after this, but I don't think we're probably going to we're probably not gonna see any more snakes um, after this rain. So I'm just gonna call it here. Uh, really just a fantastic little quick afternoon cruise. Uh, the snake numbers were kind of lacking, but we did see better diversity than we did yesterday. Um, and of course, any day with a coral snake anywhere is a good day, much less in the Piedmont of Georgia. Um, really insane, I cannot believe that happened. Uh, but either way, today was an excellent day to kind of kickstart this next episode of the Herping Vlog. So, I'm gonna pick up again tomorrow at some point. All right, guys, got a quick little snake on the way home. This is a little juvenile plain-bellied water snake. Kind of surprised to see this guy out. This is a really busy road that I drive a lot and I never see anything on it, so pretty cool. But yeah, really nice to tack one more snake on here at the end of the night. Um, I'm not gonna get my hopes up about seeing anything after this guy, but I mean, it's definitely possible. Really cool looking little juvenile plain-bellied water snake. Possibly our last snake of the night. Really pretty face on this guy, look at that. Good looking snake.